Hey guys, John here uh, from Beer Tour in Seoul. Today I will be looking at Marpio, the dark beer. Marpio is collaborated product between the two companies. Marpio is actually the brand name of the top leading shoe polish product in South Korea. And they collaborated with the uh, brewery company named Squeeze Brewery. And they came up with the Marpio dark beer. They're using the shoe polish brand name. Just kind of give you an easy image in your head right away that it's a dark beer. Without a doubt. So, collaborated products, especially for beer, is quite popular. It's an ongoing trend. Um, Mark Hill, as soon as they released, 250,000 cans were sold in just three days. So let's take a look at the level. As you can see, this is entirely in a dark brown color with gold level. Of course, it has barley in its mouth and there's a hop at the end. So without a doubt, this is a dark beer. And the alcohol dosage is 4.5%. One of the uh, dark beer that I enjoy is Kozel Dark or Guinness Draft. 4.5% alcohol is for this Marpio is higher than that of Kozel and Guinness. So let's open it up. It is set the Marpio the IBV, IBU scale, the uh, the scale that measures the bitterness of the beer of RPO is around 21. The 21 is somewhere around slightly, no, it's quite less than the stout dark types of beer, but uh, you can imagine that this will be more bitter than the regular lager types of beer. So let's take a look at the beer. There we go. Very nutty in smell. Chocolate smell as well. Oh, it's very sweet and there is definitely definitely a nutty taste towards the end. Well, dark beers are very known to people as a beer that has a strong sweetness, like a caramelized sweetness and a nutty flavor. But as for the uh, Marco, uh, this one, as soon as I drink it, uh, the sweetness is highly emphasized and there is a strong sweetness in the beginning. As you go towards the end, there is a bitterness in the middle and a nutty flavor at the end, towards the end, very end. Sweeter than Kozel, definitely. It's delicious, uh, sweet. Before I knew anything about the beer, and uh, I used to drink you know, Budweiser's, Coors Light, other types of lager types of beers, and there was one time when I tried my first dark beer, which was the Guinness. Uh, at the time, I really hated it. I hated it because it was too bitter for me. And for the first time, you try on anything, and that strong sense of image will be embedded in your head. From that moment of having the Guinness, although um, Guinness is such a fine beer, the bitterness had been prolonged and inside of my memory just you know the bitter beer is not no. for me this marco is actually uh very sweet you know they're uh, you know you know they're uh, you know. All dark beers are bitter. That's prejudice, you know? And I think this beer is perfect for the entry level and kind of give you that momentum to break that fixed idea of all dark beers are bitter. There is a sweet one like this and enjoyable. But I guess this is, I would highly recommend to those who are thinking of entry to the dark beer world. Mark it more. Very soft in texture and hazel, hazelnut, very nutty flavors. Very delicious, all well balanced. But I, I, for me, it's just a little bit too sweet for me, to be honest. Squeeze Brewery is located in Chuncheon. Chuncheon is well known for Chuncheon Takarbi, one of the Korean food in South Korea that many people, obviously Korean people do, and a lot of foreigners as well. They love eating cheese takarbi. But that's not the food that I would recommend to have uh, with the Marco beer, unfortunately. Uh, this type of beer, it's dark beer. There is definitely a bitterness, but it has been reduced with the sweetness. Strong sweetness is present in this beer, and towards the end, it's very nutty. So I would say, if you're gonna eat something with this, I would say go for snacks, especially snacks that are salty, kind of snacks that kind of give you a thirst, something like pretzels. Pretzels have you know, well enough salt, chew down the pretzel pieces, kind of dries away your mouth. As you have, as you go for a sip of this type of beer, it will definitely give you a refreshingness. 
all the beers that should give you and yeah I'd say the snacks so anyways I would the, the, the score that I would give to this Marco dark beer dark ale uh, it's going to be 3.8 out of 5 although this is a delicious dark beer one of the uh, sweetest dark beer that I had simply just too sweet for me so this type of beer beer like this uh, I can only drink about one or two times the reason behind it is that it's too sweet and the sweet pro prolonged consumption of sweet things yes, would just kind of give you that uh, inside so you have to kind of eat something else to just you know, flush it away right and yeah it's not for a long consumption or well, if you're planning on to hold a single can for an entire evening yeah sure go for it but uh, a type of person type of people like me you know just can after a can during the fly this goes about one two maybe three cans a maximum but that sweetness is just uh personally it's just uh not for me well just it's too sweet i mean thank you again for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I will be more than happy to come back with more interesting beers to introduce you. There are lots to go in South Korea. I'm gonna say have a good day and end the video with the uh, horse gesture because Marpil has a horse in his yard. Horse. Stop it! Anyways, uh, thank you for watching again. Uh, this was John. See you, see you on the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>